Legends, Rhyme Star, get some more Call of Legends packs. Rhyme Star. Y'all know how hard it is to find Call of Legends pack in 2019? It's not easy. But you know what I did? I went in and got a whole box. Now, I'm not opening this. I thought about no one open this. Yeah, I wanted to. But this actually is a pretty expensive and rare box right now. In fact, this took me like maybe four months to find. I don't understand why. I mean, this is technically considered modern day Pokemon, even though it came out in 2011. This is almost like, what, nine years old? Uh, this box is incredibly rare and very, very expensive. I got it for a really ridiculously good price. And right now, since I bought it, the price has doubled. In fact, I think one sold for like two grand last week, and I had I paid nowhere near that. So yeah, we're not gonna open this, but I wanted to show you this because this is just an incredible box. Why is this box so insane, you ask? Uh, to answer that question, it's because there are shinies in here. You can get shiny Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, Lugia, uh, Palkia, Dialga, Deoxys. It's got a bunch of shinies, and I believe each box comes with two um, two shinies. Now. Obviously, this is still called Legends Open because I did the next best thing. I actually found a foreign version of this. This is a French version of Call of Legends. Instead of 36 packs, it is going to be uh, 30 instead. So we're going to do 15 and 15. We'll do two parts of videos. And I figured, what better way to, I guess, uh, fill the, the need for seeing some Call of Legends openings than to do it this way. Now, the funny thing is I bought this box actually way before I bought that one. Because at some point, I decided to give up and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy a French one because this is like way cheaper. I think this costs like 300 bucks, I wanna say. Which is still pretty expensive for a booster box, especially a foreign one. Um, and I figured I'm gonna just buy this and open this. And then around the time when I got this, I saw that pop up. I negotiated the good deal that I got. And then here we are today. So, you're gonna get your Call of Legends. It's just going to be French and I hope that's okay with you guys. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and slide this over here in the back so we can get the whole little stand going. Look at that. It's such a beautiful box. Uh, by the way, you know, people always ask me what's a good box to buy. If you manage to find one of these boxes, I highly recommend it because, not the French ones, but the English ones, because I think this is like the next big box that's gonna blow up over time. Just due to the fact that there are shinies inside it. Like, we hadn't really had that many crazy boxes in the last couple years that had some kind of like gimmick to it because obviously you got shining cards in Neo Destiny. You have crystals in like, you know, Sky Ridge and uh, Aquapolis and stuff like that. You have, uh, what else we had? We had uh, uh, just shiny cards in general that came out over the course of the last couple of years. And, uh, or I guess the last like 20 years. And as long as it's like a gimmick that a pack has, I feel like those are actually great for sealed products. So if you can, if you can find one of these in English and it's a good price, I highly recommend you buy it and you hang on to it and keep it sealed forever. And yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, if you enjoy seeing Call of Legends, uh, make sure out to Nathan. I know Nathan has got to be watching this. Nathan, you better be watching this, actually. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll try to see if I can get more of these packs in the future. I don't know if the card trick is different in um, in the French version, so we'll just kind of hop in first, and we'll see what happens. We got the reverse, and the first one is Typhlosion, regular rare, and that was one, two, three. So three from the back. Okay, right off the bat, so we're going to go ahead and do that and put this over here. Uh, obviously, because this is French, or I guess... Um, different I guess country or whatever the packs aren't as rare I want to say oh, not rare but like the, the cards themselves aren't as valuable obviously like a PSA 10 uh, shiny Lugia will be like a thousand dollars so in that neighborhood whereas I feel like a a foreign version of it let's go do one two three to the front a foreign version of it this is kind of warped actually would probably be way way less but it's still kind of cool to have because you know if you're collecting like the artwork for example it's still kind of the same thing but not really Meganium so yeah, comment section below, what is your favorite legendary shiny of all time? Let me know down below. You know what, shout out to Mewtwo for being snubbed and being and not being in the set. Whoop, we got a Mr. Mime, and then the first, hey, our first holographic is Magmortar. Look at that, we're gonna go ahead and sleep this bad boy up. So yeah, I don't know if the uh, pull rate is different on the French box, because like I said, there are only 30 packs in here instead of 36. I don't know why they decided just to take away those extra uh, six packs out of it when they made, you know, this international set, but whatever. And if we do pull a shiny, it is going to be in the reverse slot, which is something that I had no clue when I pulled my shiny Lugia uh, a couple months back, earlier this year actually. Which is still insane, because it's funny, because <laughs> I've had nothing but requests to open Call of Legends, and when I finally do, I happen to get the right set of packs that gave me the one shiny that I really, really wanted. Alright, it's going to pop in the next one. We got Flareon, or Pyroli. Uh, we got Teddy Ursa. I like how some names are still the same, like Germignon. Uh, real cool. Relicanth, Ursaring, and, and we got, uh, Ma Magierna, right? Magierna? Yeah, 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 Magierna. This G is a transforma transformation, evolution, sorry. Uh, it's, it's still funny, like, looking at the names, and just, it literally will give me a brain fart just to think about, like, wait, what was the English name again? <laughs> of course, I should, I should, I should know most of these. I should know most of these. 
This was one of the glory ages of the Pokemon generations. They had a bunch of cool stuff around this time. So yeah. Back in my day! I know, I know, I know. Okay, it's gonna pop into this. I have something else cool that I wanna show you. Look at this. Look at this. By the way, shout out to Leonhardt. When Leonhardt gets the- let me put this in the back. When Leonhardt gets one of these, you don't say no. You don't say no. I, bu I bought this box. I'm, I'm not gonna open it. What I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna try to get some packs. Uh, they're really hard to get. I'm gonna get some packs, and then I'm gonna try to do an opening and then show off the box in a mu mu much better, like, way. Also, I got one of these as well, which is also an incredibly rare product. It comes with... Look in the back over here, whoops. We got two EX Deoxys packs, we got a Team Rocket pack, and then we got two Pop Series 1 packs. I Initially, I intended on opening this, and I still might do it at the end of this month, or sometime by the end of this month. Um, but when I found out how rare the, the product itself was, uh, I was like, maybe I shouldn't open that. So I'll let you guys decide that for me. I'll let you guys decide that for me. A Quali, Donphan, see like he's got the same name. Magic Carpe, Tanyon, Smogo, Jermion, and Shiny! Ah, oh, just a real look. See like, why, why, is, why does he get the regular name? And then we got uh, Ampharos, or Ferramp, as it says on here. Bam. By the way, if I do this again, where, you know, I get like, international version of a, of a set is that something that you guys are cool with because this is kind of experimental because like I said this box was 300 bucks and if you come across a English college box now you're looking to spend around two grand <laughs> so the way I see it is it's a win-win situation because you get the you get the um, you get that need to see these packs opened you know you get to see the original arts from back in the day from 2011 and uh, you kind of get that fix and potentially we also going to get a shiny pull right now right now Nope, just a Jolteon. Baho! Yo! Yo, that's dope! That is dope. So yeah, uh, if you are cool with seeing something like this again, I'll definitely try to do this again at some point. I mean, I know I opened Japanese boxes, but I feel like Japanese boxes are a bit different than opening, like, you know, Italian, French, German, whatever. Um, so you can let me know down below, because I, I don't mind doing this, because like I said, 300 bucks versus two grand, big difference. All right. But then for all I know, these might not even have even shinies in it. For I mean, you might get like maybe one shiny per box. But I, from what I've seen on YouTube, you know, I've seen many openings for Call of Legends. Well, not many, because actually there's not that many on YouTube. Um, I've seen, on average, it seems to be always have two. So I just always assume you get two shinies per box. Okay. Let's go into the next one. We got Typhlosion, right? Or is it not Cynical? That's uh, Cynical. Quilava, sorry. Energy. We got a supporter card. We got Misdrevious. We got a Vulpix. Hitmonchan! We got Slowpoke, Magikarp, and then we got a Acorn, or Pinecone? Pinecone? Yeah. And then a Grand Bull. Dope! Alright, we can go over here, go into the next pack. We got Groudon! Now the question is, is of all of this, what do I want to pull? I mean, you know, I pulled the, the Shiny Lugia, and I kind of want to pull the Shiny Lugia again. I'm not going to lie to you. Wow, that was actually awkward trying to open that. Uh, but I also, since I pulled Shiny Lugia, I feel like I should get something else. Like, how about we get a Ho-Oh to go along with you know the original two birds of um of whatchamacallit uh the gen 2 so ho or lugia or maybe also want groudon groudon's kind of cool i think groudon has an amazing looking shiny because you know he's gold or yellowish whatever shiny we get i'll be excited to get so let's see what we can get we got Nani? rayquaza it's a good one too yo yo yeah <laughs> Wow, wow, Rayquaza is definitely one of the more cool looking uh, shinies, that's dope. And then we got a Meganyu in the back. And now fun fact is, look how warped this is. Uh, fun fact is, uh, I don't think this should hurt the grade, honestly. Um, Cause I am gonna probably get these graded just cause, I actually have a PSA 10 version of this Rayquaza. A while back, I actually bought this from Troll and Tower for like, I wanna say, I probably must have spent like 20 bucks. It was a long time ago, back like when I kinda got back into Pokemon. Uh, and I don't know why I decided to buy Rayquaza, but I did. I bought a Rayquaza, got a grade, it came back as a PSA 10. So I have that as a PSA 10. It, it's funny, like, I feel like that's definitely maybe the second best shiny you can get in this set. Uh, in my opinion, at least. And I feel like also people prefer Rayquaza over pretty much any other legendary next to Lugia. At least I think, I don't know, you can tell me down below if I'm, uh, if I'm saying what you think is correct or incorrect. Uh, anyway, so I got that as a PSA 10, and I've just been sitting on it, it's, just, it's in my collection. And it's funny because like I never expected Lugia! <laughs> I never expected um shiny cards from Call of Legends to blow up the way that they did. And I think it's just honestly because we got so many so much fire. So much fire that came out 
um, you know, in the last couple months in regards to Pokemon, and there's that whole nostalgic fact that a lot of people like myself who grew up under Gen 2 that are really into this kind of stuff. So, so yeah, but I got Rayquaza as a PSA 10. I don't have the, the Lugia. If you guys remember, that Lugia came back as a PSA 9, unfortunately. It sucks because it's like, ugh. I can't even buy copies of those cards to try to get it as a PSA 10 because it's so rare. So, yeah. Maybe we can pull a little guy out of here and get it as a PSA 10. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is fun. All right. Magmar. We got a reverse. Misdrevious. And then a Grand Bull again. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is dope, man. Let me just put these guys in the background. There you go. You can get these three. And then you also have Magmortar who's just kind of chilling there. But whatever. We'll, we'll cover it up. We'll cover them up. All right. We got Deoxys. Now, the question is, is will we get another shiny in this box? Same thing like the English said is, we should get one more. And I'm hoping it's on the left side, so that way we, we get a shiny in part one, and then a shiny in part two. So, we'll see what happens. Fampy, Misdrevious, we got Ty... Uh, Typhoid. Um, Cyndaquil, sorry. Palkia! I like how the legendaries keep their regular names. And then Mr. Mime, or M Mime. The M is short for Mr., in case you didn't know. Okay, going to the Groudon pack. Let's see what happens. It's still pretty exciting to pull that Rayquaza. Honestly, I, I kind of forgot Rayquaza was in this set, too. Now, I, not that I didn't forget, I just wasn't thinking about it. Because my first thought when I see Call of Legends is I think Groudon, Kyogre, and um, Lugia. Because obviously they're all over the, the pack art and stuff like that. Um, wait, is, is Rayquaza even on the pack art? I don't think he is. And I just kind of wasn't thinking about that. So that's still kind of dope. Still kind of dope. And we got... Another Rayquaza! Look at that! That's dope too. You gotta appreciate the art in Call of Legends. I think it's fantastic. I think the art is absolutely fantastic in Call of Legends. Probably not gonna get this graded just because it's so off center. So there'd be no point. We'll just put you we'll put you over here actually. And yeah. So yeah, if you enjoy seeing this vintage -y stuff, because I can I definitely consider this vintage, uh hit that thumbs up and I'll try to see what else I can do in the future. If I ever see Call of Legends packs in a wild, like in Troll and Toad or uh or from like a trustable source or trust, trustworthy source, I'm absolutely going to buy more and open this, because I think this is an incredibly underrated set. The only problem, like I said, is, is it's so hard to find these, and usually if you do, probably wait. Although the one time when I did, mine actually ended up having the shiny Lugia, which is dope. Crocodile! And then we got Tyrog in the end there. So yeah. Okay, we got three packs left. Uh, if we get to these three, whoops, must drop the pack. If I, if I get through these three, then I can pretty much assume that tomorrow's opening, or whenever I do part two, um, we will have another shiny pull. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Okay, we got Cyndaquil, not Cyndaquil, uh, Quilava again. We got uh, Flareon. See, re see, the thing is, is I read the, the French names and it completely throws out my brain. It's like, that's not what they're supposed to be called. And yeah, Tangrowth, and then for Alligator, or Alligator, as it says up there. Yo, I love Feraligator. He's like one of my favorite starters of all time, next to Charizard. And I feel like he doesn't get anywhere nearly as much love as he should. Or they. He and she. Okay. Deoxys. And then we're going to end it with a Groudon pack. So let's see if we can get some more heat. Maybe at least get one more hollow before we end this. One, two, three. Front. Okay. Let's see what we got. Energy. We got Magby. We got Riolu. Uh, we got um, Cyndaquil. Again, I read the, the, the French name and then just my brain's like, that's not right. <laughs> Uh, Pineco, we got Gyarados, and a Holographic Jirachi. I think I pulled this last time I did openings for, um, for Call of Legends. It's kind of off-centered, though, so again, there's no reason to get this graded, so I'm not going to. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic in here, and, uh, end it with some more heat. This is fun. I'm glad I did this. I'm absolutely glad I did this. Okay, we got three to the front. Last one. Let's see what we're going to end it with. We got Vaporeon. We got Ampharos, Energy... A teddy bear, a slowpoke, literally. We got um, Chikorita, Pidgey, Relicanth. Yeah, I'm gonna end with it with a slow king. Okay, it's cool, 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 cool. I don't know why I expect. For some reason, my brain thought, oh, there's gonna be like a shiny card behind uh, the reverse rare, and I just couldn't really process it correctly. But yeah, I'd say this is hype. This is absolutely hype. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Got the two birds from Gen 2, and then we got a Rayquaza. I think that was definitely hype. That was definitely hype. Okay. So stay tuned for more. I'm going to go ahead and probably record part two literally right now. So stay tuned for more. But again, if you like seeing uh, this version of these booster boxes open because they're a bit easier to get, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what your favorite shiny is and we'll keep the fun going. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you next time. Peace.